Hi guys, today we're going to do a little project and I just got this package from eBay containing hooves. These are pronghorn hooves. A lot of people call pronghorn a type of antelope and they are not. Pronghorn are actually more closely related to giraffes than to any antelope or deer. Uh, so these hooves though um, are going to become hopefully what's called a cha-cha, which is a South American hoof-based rattle. It's similar to African like uh, seed pod rattles, but made out of hooves. We will see if I succeed, but that's the idea. These only cost me like 12 bucks. You might even be able to get them for free if you know someone that hunts. I think deer hooves would work just as well, or goat, or sheep, or even llama. So I looked at a bunch of these things on the internet, and it looks like people either drill through here on sort of the wide end of the hoof at this end, or they drill through the tip of the hoof point down at this end. Now, just thinking about this logically, I think I'm going to try to drill through the tip end because this thing's shaped more or less like a cowbell. Uh, and so all the resonance comes out of this end, and this end is actually solid. The last like quarter to three eighths of an inch here uh, is solid. There isn't any you know resonating chamber area down in there to interrupt with the string or whatever. So if I just drill a hole through there, I should get the most amount of sound, I think, out of the thing. All right, so is this as good as one you can buy? No, definitely not, because I made it. We know that I'm not really good at making stuff. But I think it's going to work. Sounds okay, and it cost me exactly 12 bucks, I think. Um, okay, I say exactly, give or take like 50 cents. I don't know what it cost. But uh, this is just eight. I think if you maybe doubled it up to like 16 or something, it would of course sound a little bit fuller. Um, but the idea is just something, you know, to put on my snare drum, which this is sort of, uh, is not as trendy now as it was like five years ago. Um, but having one of these hoof rattles on your snare drum was like the cool thing for groovy drummers to do. And that's sort of what they all look like on the internet. So I figured this is the thing. Um, now, of course, we got to see what it sounds like. So I'll play with it a little bit. 